So hello everybody, welcome to another Power BI video, how are you today? I've been looking forward to this video since Friday where I actually figured out how to do this and uh, this is what we're, what we're going to do. I needed to get Word documents in uh, Power BI and as you probably know it's not possible to do directly, there is no Word connector nor even for the new file extension. So that you've, you've got to convert them, but I didn't want people to convert them manually. So I wanted to, every time they drop a Word document, it will get converted and then the Word document will disappear because we, why would the story? We don't want the Word document, we just want the PDF. So that is exactly what we're going to do using Flow. This is amazing. This should give you an idea of what the Power Platform can do for you, okay? Are you ready? Let's get started. Looking forward to this video, for real. Okay, so here we are in SharePoint. This is the idea. So I've created a library, SharePoint library, and then I have folders in there. It's difficult to do SharePoint without folders, even though I don't like it. So the idea is that any user can put any Word document anywhere in this folder structure and they will get converted to PDFs. And I want to delete the Word document because I don't want Power BI to have to read something that you know, it cannot read anyway. So that's the game plan. Are you ready? Let's do it. This is going to be really fun. Okay, so this is how we are going to do it in Flow. There is actually somebody in the Flow community that took the time to create a template for us. Thank you a million. Let me show you. Convert Word. And you have it here. Convert Word files in OneDrive and store them in SharePoint. That's exactly what we want to do. So if we click on it, we will go through a flow that somebody created. We just need to modify it. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't say who in the community. I couldn't easily say, see who in the community because I would really love to just send them an email and say, thank you, my dear. That's amazing. Okay, so this is the flow that we're going to use. So we start in SharePoint. When somebody drops a file in SharePoint, it will go uh, and move it to OneDrive, convert it to PDF, move it back to SharePoint, delete the Word document in SharePoint, delete the documents in OneDrive. Okay? Are you already connected? Continue. If you haven't done it before, you have to authenticate yourself in here, but I've already done it, so don't need to do it. And uh, this is where the magic happens. This, this, this is so cool. Okay, so this is how the flow looks like. It says when a file is created, and then you have to choose where in SharePoint. In my case, it's called YouTube, the SharePoint library. And then the library name is uh, called, you just click in here and you see it, library word, which is this library that I created there, okay? So folder, we want the folder to be picked dynamically. If you have a, you know, you know that you're going to store all the folders, all the Word documents in one specific folder, you can put it in there, but I just don't want it. I want anything that you drop in this library converted to PDF. So there's not going to be any Word document in there inside, okay? Now, the way that he did it is like, okay, you create a file, you get the file, you know, you convert it, da, 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 and then you delete. Because I want to delete the Word document, we need to put an if condition in here. If we don't put the if condition, it's going to get rid of any document that you drop in the library. <laughs> and I learned that the hard way, <laughs> I'm going to tell you. So we're going to do a if statement in there. Control condition. And then it says if here file with extension file name with extension contains the word doc. So if it is a word document, and this will cover for doc and docx, then do this. Otherwise, don't do anything. So if you don't do like this and you recreate my flow with his flow, it's no problem or her flow, but with my flow, it will delete any new document. I'll show you where. So now we have when a file is created, when you for drop something into SharePoint, and if the file name is a Word document, then get the file content, 
we need to have the site address, which is uh, the library, and then identifier. That's perfectly fine. And then it says create a file on OneDrive. So it's going to go and move that file that got dropped into SharePoint into OneDrive. Okay. And I have in OneDrive a library called Word to PDF. I created that OneDrive for business. You have to have OneDrive for business. Okay. So we're going to find that in here, here, Word to PDF. And then for file name, we're going to look here, file name with extension, and then get file content. Okay. Then it says here, convert file to PDF. This is the step that is missing in SharePoint. So please, Microsoft, put in SharePoint to move to OneDrive. Don't care. We get it done and we're deleting the files on OneDrive. So who cares? It works anyhow. Okay. So now we have converted, we have a PDF file on OneDrive. We need to move it to SharePoint, right? But before doing that, I actually want to delete the Word document. So we're going to add a few steps in here. And these are the steps that if you don't do the if condition, it will delete any new file that gets created. We don't want right, that, right? So yeah. Now deleting the file using flow was a lot harder than I expected. That's the thing that took me the longest time to figure it out, which is crazy. Because if you just put there is an action called, I'm going to show you, uh, called delete file. And that is for SharePoint. So we need to find the SharePoint icon. Create, 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 create. Come on, what is it? Delete file. Okay, there we have it. And then you might think that you, okay, you put here the YouTube, you, you know, the library name, and then you put here the folder path and um, the file name, and then it will delete it, but you're going to get a JSON error. And the reason why you're getting a JSON error is because you have to format it in a very specific way, as this thing is sending a JSON request to SharePoint, right? So you can modify so the file name and the file path gets modified with a replace and concatenate and all that stuff. But I found a cleaner way. So what we're going to do first is add an action and it's called get file, get file meta data using path. Okay. So you get the file metadata of the, the file that got dropped in uh, YouTube. And then here we're going to put the full path to the, to the file. And this is going to get all the information that it has for the file that just got dropped in. Okay. And once it has that in here, the only way to delete I learned this hard way to delete a SharePoint file is using the ID, unless you want to, you know, format everything in a JSON format yourself, which a lot of people do not know how to do, do not know how to do. So now this ID is going to get here from the metadata and it's going to be in the right format so that you can send the JSON request. Okay. Now, this do not take care if it's a Word document or is going to delete any new drop file. And that's why you need the if condition. If you don't have the if condition, it will delete anything new that you put in there and you don't want that. Okay. Now it's going to delete only if it's a Word document. Good. Okay. Create the PDF file. So now we, you know, we have a PDF file that's been created on OneDrive. It's deleting the Word document on SharePoint. We don't want it anymore. And now we're going to say, move the file from SharePoint into, from OneDrive into um, SharePoint. Let's see, convert file, create PDF file. Here we go and put our library. The folder path is folder path. And then the 
file name is name with PDF extension, put the file content in, and then we're going to delete all the files that got created into OneDrive because we don't want them there. It's, this is just used for converting Word to PDF. So cool. So cool. Save. Fingers crossed that we don't have any typos. This shows up all the time with no idea what it says. Anyhow, are you ready for the test? Test. I'll perform the trigger baby. Okay. Now, I'm going to draw up here a Word document. And then we're going back here and fingers crossed that I did everything right. And we should see a PDF popping up very, very soon. Let's watch the magic. So cool. So cool. I mean, I think it's amazing that I can do that without writing a single line of code. It's like when I was playing with, you know, Lego programming that <laughs> you would actually have like blocks that you put together. This is as cool as that. Your flow runs successfully, fingers crossed that it did what we wanted to do. Here we have a PDF, the Word document is gone, and this is empty. It did everything correctly, so cool. Now, if we go somewhere else inside the... let me trigger again. I'm going to show you that it works on any level of the... I, you don't need to do this, obviously, but just so it gets triggered right away and you see it in action. So anywhere you drop a Word document into that library gets converted to PDF and then you can grab it with Power BI and all the Word documents are gone. I delete them, you can move them. If you want to move them somewhere, you can say, hey, now that I have this file, put it there. Anyway, Ooh, fast, fast, fast. Let me see, fingers crossed. PDF, the Word document is gone and this is empty. How cool is this? I mean, if this is not superpowers, I don't know what it is. Obviously, the best would be that Power BI would read Word documents, for sure. But this gave me a lot of pleasure. <laughs> that, that's what I have to say. Mm -hmm.